The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Morning Market Kickoff with your host, Tommy O'Brien. Now, Tommy O'Brien. Good Tuesday morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN. Hope you had a nice long weekend out there. We kick things off. We got an important week of earnings. We have NVIDIA out with their numbers tomorrow. We kick things off with a little bit of negative action. We got a couple of deals going on out there. You got Capital buying Discover One for $35 billion dollars credit card processing good business to begin you got walmart buying visio the tv maker as well we'll get into some of that along with some other things happening in the market this morning we kick things off trading within a point of five thousand five thousand and one s and p's off by about 18 points and you see kind of the acceleration right out of the gate last night, 6 p.m. Eastern time. You're trading at 5,025. You dip lower at, by about 9 o'clock last night, and that's where we've been chopping around. You make a low of 49.95 at about 6 a.m. this morning. We're trading right now off about 4 tenths percent in the S&Ps. NASDAQ 100, we're negative by 4 tenths percent as well. You back things up to where you were Sunday evening. Your acceleration begins... Uh, yeah, there's the open, actually. So what do we have? So we had Sunday, but then we had... No trading, actually. Futures did open Sunday, excuse me. And then you dip lower, though. Last night, 9 o'clock last night, you make a low in the NASDAQ 100 this morning of about 17,618. So we're off by almost half a percent in the NASDAQ 100. You get the Dow right now, negative by about a similar third of a percent, off 131 points, 38,566. And you got the Russell, particularly volatile, off a full percent. You jump over to Bitcoin. Can't hold it down, man. Bitcoin, 53200 early this morning. We're up by almost $800 on Bitcoin. Crude, little volatility in both directions for crude. You dip below $78. We're back above that price point. Crude trading at 7018 this morning. Yeah, 7818 And how about gold catching a bit? Look at this run from last week at 1996. Just like that, we're up by $15 this morning. That's three quarters of a percent at 2039. We were just above 2040 on the gold contract. Silver, a little bit of a different story. Silver, not even above where you were the highs of Friday. Make it to 2356. Silver, negative by 31 pennies this morning. And you jump to notes and bonds. Depends where you are on the curve this morning. You get the 10 year right now. Up by about five ticks, trading at 109.28. Say it depends where you are because you go to the 30 year and you actually got lower price out there. A little volatility across the board. But you talk about where we are in yields right now, you're talking about 4.28 on the 10 year right now, 4.28. And when we take a look at the curve going up and down, yeah, I guess when you go to the 30 year, it's pretty much unchanged. You got the two year down six basis points right now at 4.6. And as I mentioned, you got the 10 year uh, down one basis point, 4.28. Blow that up a little bit to make it easier. There's your yield curve, as I mentioned, the two year at about 4.6. You get to the 10 year at about 4.28. We get some FOMC minutes tomorrow as well. Be interesting to see what they have to say as we jump around. Uh, but yeah, let's kick things off with this one. They're talking about it, and why not? It's a big one, man. Capital One buying Discover for $35 billion. All stock deal subject to shareholder and regulatory approval. A lot of talk of the regulators this morning. The price, a 26.6% premium to Discover's February 16th close. Now, that's the close, I think, before it came out. Was that the... Yeah, what is discovered? DFS? Yeah, there's a nice pop for you. Look at that, from 110 up to 124.75 for Discover. And yet, what's it, COF? Yeah, COF is Capital One. And the person spending the cash, yeah, they're going to drop because guess why? They're issuing shares, folks. They're issuing shares to get it done. So if they're issuing shares and you own shares, guess what? Your shares aren't worth what they were yesterday. To a certain degree, 137 down to 131. I heard something once. If a company purchases a company, it makes a lot of sense, right? And they use all cash. Well, boy, they really believe in that deal because the last thing they want to do is, let's just say you're purchasing any company, right? You want all of it. You think the future is so promising. The last thing you want to do is you want to give them a piece of the action. You just want to pay them cash because the future 
of those share prices is going to be exponential once you put those two companies together. If you're not as excited or maybe you're just not in as a great position, maybe you issue them stock, right? You give them a piece of that future deal. It just speaks to the fact if you really didn't want to give out that piece, nonetheless. So they give them the piece of the deal. They give them an all stock deal. And you're at 13105 for Capital One from 13723. Yeah, $35 billion. We'll see where they go. Um, and they're going to pay 1.019 of its own shares, a 26% premium for that company. Yeah, that'll be the biggest merger this year. And I saw once, I think it's the number three and number six company that are teaming up there. Yeah, they're going to be the biggest lender when they put them together. They got quite a book, man, when you put them together. The acquisition acquisition going to generate pre-tax synergies of $2.7 billion is the number. Yeah, prime customers. Capital One is known for its commercials, of course. Um, delinquencies has stabilized after reporting net charge-offs that were higher than analysts expected. Um, Capital One's been trying to attract more premium customers, is their deal there, and agreed to buy digital concierge service Velocity Black last year. Discover's long focused on those prime customers with better credit ratings, though it's historically shied away from flashy sign-on bonus and lavish perks used by so many of its rivals. So we will be interesting to see where that one goes through. $35 billion, man, as they team up. And we jump to the next deal out there. Walmart agreeing to buy Vizio for $2.3 billion. This one was talked about last week. be interesting to see how this impacts them. Um, Roku in a tough spot there. Is they get a big deal with Walmart? That looks to be in question, of course. But they're buying Vizio. And uh, it's about advertising there. Eleven fifty a share. Zip symbol. Yeah. This was already reported last week, so yeah, they're major sellers of Vizio devices, but in buying the company, Walmart touted the potential to boost its ad business through video smartcast operating system, which allows users to stream free ad supported content on their TVs. Now that's the part I want to get to, man. We watch Roku TV in my house because we don't have cable. As in, so if you want some live TV, right, it's free ad-supported content on the TVs. This is everywhere. It's going to be a big part. It's basically the new um, set-top television, you know, in terms of free television, ad-supported. You know, we're going back to where we were, man. It was that first it was all TV was free, right? You put the antennas on top of your television. You're paying for ads, that support that then you got cable television that followed then what happened then you got streamers now it's happened well the streamers had figured out you know what the best actual model is give it to them for free and sell ads and we're going round and round man as it goes um yeah they've tried to expand their media business walmart connect which comes with bigger profit margins than selling groceries or clothing advertising sales grew 22 percent for walmart in the fourth quarter we believe vizio's customer-centric operating system provides great viewing experiences at attractive price points we believe it enables a profitable advertising business that's rapidly scaling advertising is a good business to be in ask mr zuckerberg on that one and then you jump over to roku and that deal was already there um, as well in terms of that deal speculated last week. Tough go around for their earnings and a tough go around for Roku. They're going to open down another four dollars this morning to sixty seven ninety four. We jump over to Walmart shares on that news. There you go. They got earnings as well. Walmart. We'll get into that. We got a lot to talk about, folks. Walmart up by eight bucks on their earnings. Not on that deal. One of the components. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back with Kevin Hicks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Welcome back, folks. We got the S&Ps off by about 18 points right now, trading just above that 5,000 price point. And yeah, so Walmart, they're buying Vizio, also accelerating higher on their numbers. You get over the Walmart numbers, and they crushed it during the holiday season, man. Revenue rising 6% for the quarterly revenue as shoppers, quote unquote, turn to the big, tox, big box retailer throughout the holiday season. And the company's e-commerce sales grew by double digits. Earnings, a buck 80 versus a buck 65. Revenue, 1.734 versus 1.7, billion versus 170.7 billion. Now, you know what's remarkable is, right? They buy some of these companies. They buy Vizio for 2.3 billion, which is not even the revenue that they beat on a 90-day basis, right? They could have just taken the extra revenue, which was what, 2.4, about 2.7 they beat. 2.6, 2.6, not 2.7, yeah, 2.7. They beat by $2.7 billion in revenue. Absolutely remarkable. Uh, net income? 5.4 billion in those same 90 days. Now they were comparing it to 6.28 a year ago. Revenue increased from 164 billion a year ago. Look at that, right? 173 billion for the year ago period, man. Remarkable from 164. Net sales are gonna rise four to five percent in the fiscal first quarter. Adjusted earnings, a buck forty-eight to a buck fifty-six on the pre-stock split basis. Man, just big numbers across the board. You can see why they're accelerating higher. Comp sales rose 4% at Walmart US. At Sam's Club, comp sales increased 1.9%, including fuel. I'll tell you, folks, I belong to Sam's. We don't have cost. We have Costco in Tampa. I'm a little far from it. Sam's got a great thing going on, man. They do. Uh, it's interesting. I was telling my dad even this weekend, I told him before, Sam's is a different feeling inside, which is, you know, they know they have to compete with kind of the Costco, and Costco does not have the Walmart feel, but it's amazing how you go into a a Sam's and it feels so great 
and yeah, it's the big box, you know, warehouse type feel, of course. Versus you going to a Walmart for some reason, man. That Walmart, it's not the, you know. Anyway, um, nonetheless, big numbers, man. E-commerce sales. Here's the number I want to get to: twenty-three percent. How about that? Yeah, in the U.S., e-commerce seventeen percent as shoppers use curbside pickup and got orders delivered to their homes. Advertising. Here you go: thirty-three percent globally, twenty-two percent in the U.S. Visio acquisition going to be an accelerant for the higher margin, fast growing part of the business. How about that? Customer transactions increasing 4.3% compared with a year ago period. Average ticket declined slightly, which is interesting in the face of inflation and all that stuff, right? Um, the company could soon face a deflationary environment where prices are not just stabilizing but going down. He said those lower prices could help customers pay more for more discretionary items. On Tuesday, however, Rainey said Walmart sees deflation as less likely because that's what he had said in November. Okay, in some categories of general merchandise, prices are lower than a year ago. He added food prices still rose by low single digits year over year. Now. I'll tell you that, and being a Sam shopper as well, so the, the coolest part is, is that when you go into these places now, right, and this is how it's going to be in Sam's, it's how it's going to be everywhere in no time. So I go in Sam's now, I pull out my phone, it's called Scan and Go, okay? And what you do is you just scan the item with your phone, it adds it up as you're going, so you just do it as you throw it in your cart, right? You don't need to do it all at the end. As you take something, you throw it in your cart, you scan it on your phone, and when you're going to check out, you just hit the checkout button on your phone. It pays for everything. And then you have to walk out. And the way they do it at Sam's, I think they do the same thing at Costco, right? They take your receipt. They scan a few items to make sure. They, they do a check to make sure, you know, you've paid for everything. And then you go. That's the way it's going to happen, man. And they're not going to need the person at the door, right? Eventually, they're going to have all those items with an RFID. You throw it in your cart. You pay for it, and the store knows that if somehow you're leaving with an item that hasn't been paid for yet. It's happening, man. Now, you take that. They talked about gas, right? So I get gas at Sam's as well. You pull up to the gas station. Well, you need to be a Sam's member to use the gas station. So you either use your card or you can use the app. I use the app for everything these days. I pull open the app. What happens? I scan the app. It immediately tells me, you know, it knows who I am. It tells me you want to use the card on file to pay for the gas. Yes, I do. I hit the button on my phone. It's done. I don't need anything else but my phone and a membership. Scan it at the pump. It knows my credit card. It knows my membership. I put the gas in there. I'm done. You know, on a technological basis, the fact that Walmart is at the forefront of that, that's going to matter, folks. They're catching up to Amazon because Amazon is doing that as well. But Using that technology, it's going to be everywhere in five or ten years, man. The days of, and let me tell you, I love that I no longer have to go to a register to check out. I don't have to go there anymore. That's the best part of it, man. Um, it knows everything, right? Um, it knows everything, man. Yeah, and that's the that's the interesting part. You know, Costco is high end, and I agree, Duffy, and Walmart not so much. But Sam's is a different deal, man. Because out here, Sam's is a different deal. Um, and the aura and the feeling inside is a different deal as well. I'll give you an example. Uh, at their at their deli, right? So they got a bunch of great pre-made stuff at Sam's, right? I'm really talking up Walmart, man. Yeah, I, I do have a small amount of Walmart in retirement, but maybe I should have some more. The way, the way that we're performing today. Check out this chart. But I'm spending a lot of time on this, folks, but think about it. Because you want to be in these companies. I think the annual feed for Sam's is like 59 bucks, stuffy. And I think I got a deal where it was even less um, than that to begin or something like that. I think I got a deal and I'll look it up because it's not much, man. The, the amount of money I save, even on gas, you'd you add it up. It's a no brainer, you know, paper towels, the easy stuff, let alone, but you go to the deli, right? So they get the pre-made stuff, they get the good stuff. And sometimes, you know, where they get the rotisserie chickens, like at Publix and stuff, right? They get the good rotisserie chickens they put out there. Okay. <laughs> and it is interesting how these two, two brands within the same company, Walmart and Sam's, you go to Walmart, and yeah, you can buy a rotisserie chicken, but I'm always like, uh, I don't know about that rotisserie chicken at Walmart. Uh, I don't know. How long has that Walmart rotisserie chicken been out? What employees have been hanging around um, you know, handling that? Versus you go to Sam's, man. They got the guy back there who are cutting you know, 
prime steaks. You can watch them through the thing. They have their rotisserie chickens, which are a great deal. I buy those sometimes. And they even have baby back ribs out there, which are out there. And the same deal, right? They're hot. They're right next to the rotisserie. I buy those sometimes. I would never buy baby back ribs pre-made um, in the hot you know, container at Walmart. Wouldn't touch the stuff. They're getting it done at Sam's. They're doing it with technology. And it's going to come to Walmart, man. And now they get the advertising on top of it. And check out this chart. So you trade at 178 from Walmart, man. You put this on a three-year weekly. You're going to open almost 180, folks. This is blowing away everything we had from 117 at the lows of May of 2022. Absolutely remarkable. You compare that to Target. Yeah, they get some problems, man. <laughs> right? Look at this. You're basically at the lows of 2022 for Target, whereas Walmart has surged higher in dramatic fashion. I love Target. I love the brand in Target, man. Target is expensive. They don't have the technology that Walmart has right now. And the funny thing is, is that I cannot stand having to check out at Target because most of the time, if you guys are familiar or girls, you end up in a line for the self-checkout. that's like 15 people long. And I'm not exaggerating, man. And that's just on a normal, like, Friday, Saturday night, maybe a Thursday night sometimes. Who knows? But Walmart, they're getting it done. They're going to open up about eight bucks on the open. We got some action on this opening bell, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be coming back for that opening bell in three minutes. Don't go away. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Welcome back, folks. We got markets open. You're looking at an S&P just above 5,000, sitting at 5,003 right now. NASDAQ 100, you're off by 76 right now. Dow off by 87. And the Russell, as I always say, particularly volatile, off by 1.4%, man. Both directions. No matter what the market's doing, the Russell, um, yeah, it's it's got a like a 1.5 multiplier in terms of the volatility in that Russell. Let's jump around. Some of the big stocks, as I mentioned, you got NVIDIA. They'll be coming out with their numbers tomorrow. You jump over to NVIDIA. Let's take a look at what we're talking about here. So you talk about a move, man. You want action through Friday? How about some volatility for you? $80. $80 is the volatility priced in in either direction if you just want action through Friday. And that's because they got their numbers coming out tomorrow. And yeah, 80 bucks is not that outlandish when you look at the trading range this thing is in without earnings where you're really bouncing around between about 710 and maybe 740. You put this thing on a daily. So you're off by 1.1% to kick things off. It's been a one-way trip, man, to almost 800 bucks, which would complete that A to B, C to D we've been talking about here. So maybe that's the final thrust on their earnings. At some point, you're going to need a little consolidation, man. Doesn't mean it has to happen right now, though. As we know, when this thing runs, we'll see what they come up with with their numbers, man. It seems like everybody wants the chips they're making, and they can't get them fast enough for years to come. NVIDIA, off by 1.1%, even as the NASDAQ claws back some of those losses. We go over to the other big player in AI, Microsoft. They're basically flat this morning at 404. We we'll jump over to Google shares. Google, up by two-tenths percent this morning. Amazon shares, down by about half a percent this morning. We jump over to Tesla. Tesla off by 2.2% so far this morning. Let's see how the companies are opening. Walmart, yeah, they open up 5.5%, and that's quite an acceleration for a company like Walmart, man. Up by $9 to 179.49. That's an all-time high, right? Yeah, all-time high, man. Look at that. You get your consolidation area from what? There's our COVID pullback. Yep. Walmart, one of the companies that didn't suffer too dramatic of a pullback, right? Everybody was going to need their items from Walmart no matter what. Consolidates for 2020. You get that steep pullback into 2022. And then, boom, you take off like a rocket ship, man, from 120 up to 60. You're up 50% on this equity. And this is not one of the equities that usually runs 50%, folks, in terms of a high flyer growth stock. You're talking about Walmart. But now you're talking about advertising multiples that are growing double digits, right? E-commerce sales growing double digits, purchasing Vizio, et cetera. That would be an interesting one. We jump over to Capital One. How are they digesting their purchase? Capital One off by about 5.4% to kick things off as they purchase Discovery for $35 billion. And let's check back to yields and see how they're trading this morning. There's your long-term chart, man. You got the tenure. Uh, rising a bit, pointing to a slightly lower yield. We got the 10 year back above 110 barely. We're trading at 110.005. You're up by about nine ticks right now on the 10 year. And that'll jump us to our next story from the journal out here. No, Bloomberg, excuse me. Is the market starting to speculate? And if the next Fed move is up, boy, if the next Fed move is up, man, watch out. We talked to Teddy Kegstad tomorrow, Wednesdays at 40 past. He's been talking about that they might not be done, man. And at the beginning of this, you know, kudos to him. He has some great calls, man. Check out that Forex report that he puts together, folks. He's got a new issue out, of course, this week. But, yeah, uh, the market's starting to price it in when it hadn't for a long time. The options market sees a small chance of a rate hike. Rate hike. Six percent. I mean, you call it a tail. You call it an outlier, right? The implied probability of Fed policy path by December. By December. One more hike or zero. That's still 13% when you put the two together, right? Yeah, guy, no, who knows, Duffy, what would happen in the day that that happens. And I imagine, though, if we get that hike, um, there's going to be some data that comes that already freaks out the market. That's not going to be a shocker. Chairman Powell is not going to shock the world. There is going to be data. There's going to be some Fed speak. We got a ton of Fed speak coming up this week, man. Thursday, we get like six different people speaking um, as well. Yeah, and particularly volatile. Look at January 31st. That's when it was. When you even have the chairman saying that they believe our policy rate is likely at its peak for this tightening cycle. Pretty strong words. Um, but we've had a few expectations that have gone awry in that. And this is the rate cut bets in terms of how many cuts are coming down the line. Right? And looking as we go week by week, these are just weeks. This is all it is. This is how fast things can change over a weekly basis, right? Let's blow this up, man, because this speaks volumes. The median of the Fed's dot plot in December 
Okay, it was three. Look at where we've come from, man. December 22nd, we were at seven. January 12th, we were almost back at seven. You're above five on January 19th. You're above five on January 26th. And just like that, we're at three and a half cuts priced in now. Three and a half cuts right in line with where the Fed is, man. Now, the chairman has said that everybody's basically on board, that they think it'll be time to cut sometime this year. It's only February. That gives him a lot of time to go forward from where we are. Um, but keep your eye on how fast things have moved week over week here. And, you know, the yields have reacted to that accordingly. But we've had some job numbers that have been dramatic. We've had a CPI number that's been dramatic. And we'll see where it goes from there. PPI as well, right? Yeah, and then what happens to the dollar, right? This is the dollar spot index, the Bloomberg dollar spot index. The dollar could return toward 2022 highs if the Fed hikes. Now, I'm not sure they're going to be hiking, man, okay? There's, there's going to be some data that's going to have to come down the line, and we're going to get to see that. And you're getting quite a reversal today, man. Look at that, 103.84. I mean, that's the reason why you got gold accelerating this morning in dramatic fashion. Gold up by 16 bucks, up to 2040, but you get back to the dollar index briefly. You're below anywhere you were last week, man, in the dollar index. You're below where you were on that Tuesday acceleration, the higher price. You back it up on the daily. We've rolled over at the 618, folks. That's what I want to get to. We have rolled over right at that 618. Look where we get to, right? 104.75 <coughs> was about the 618. We hit that price point, and just like that, we've given up uh, a full point from where we were just a few days ago. As we're under 104, we're at 103.84, and that's given a bid to commodities gold in particular. Speaking of, you jump over to crude, $78, bumping up against it, man. We'll see where we get to, but that's where we've been before. We were back up here January 29th. You accelerate to 72. We're right back at 78 bucks this morning on the price of crude, basically down by 35 pennies. You jump over to the VIX on a little bit of negative action on the market. VIX slightly elevated this morning, right? Check out that pop. That was Sunday night futures. That was Monday night futures. We were closing out Friday action, 1380. We're sitting at 1520 right now. You hear that? We were closing out Friday, 1380. We're sitting at 1520. That is quite a rise in the VIX. Uh, as we approach a point week, as I mentioned, NVIDIA, ooh, what's going on over here, man? <coughs> Can't fault somebody for wanting to get out of NVIDIA before they hit their earnings, man. You know, over a period of 90 days, just a remarkable acceleration to higher price. And are you really going to be waiting when they got an $80 move priced in? Um, I mean, if you're a long-haul investor, yeah, stick some NVIDIA in your retirement account. I'm sure that you'll be okay. I'm not sure, folks. They're dealing with multiples that are bonkers, but, boy, they are in a sweet spot. AI is going to change everything for the future, uh, to put it lightly. And I'll see if I can find You know, I was on there last night with ChatGPT playing with some images. Man, <laughs> the future is going to change so quickly, folks. I'll see if I can find some of those images. I will. I'll see if I can find them during this break. All right, we got a lot to talk about. It's Tuesday trading on a shortened week, but it's a big week, man. We got NVIDIA earnings coming up. We got uh, Fed Minutes coming up this week. We got some Fed speak along with more companies with their earnings. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. 
for daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities. Subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. We got a little drop going on right now. We got the S&Ps. You see the drop off there right on the opening bell, man. We hit a high of 5,000 and what did we get to? Yeah, right after the opening bell. These are five-minute bars we're looking at. You hit 5,009 just like that. You give up 17 points in the S&Ps as we roll over. You get the NASDAQ 100 off by about nine-tenths percent. What did we just give up? 150 points in the NASDAQ 100 in the span of about 10 minutes from where we were. You're negative by 1%. And, yeah, it's not just NVIDIA, man. Check out NVIDIA, though. What is going on, man? If somebody knows what's happening in the den. I think it's just selling going on right now, but maybe something's going on. Somebody, but boy, that is quite a sell. As you got Nvidia shares just traded down forty bucks from seven twenty to six eighty two, just like that, man. Uh, you got Google shares, nah, not quite. But Microsoft, no, nah, not quite as well. So we got winners and losers here in terms of you got a few selling, man. Amazon off by one point six. Maybe Walmart eating into their business? I don't know. Walmart holding steady up by 180. Not a bad number for them. Tesla shares off by 3%. We're getting the tech stocks. They're selling off. And we're back to Microsoft. So ChatGPT. So I'm, I'm playing with ChatGPT. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can create pictures with it now. And you're gonna, you can create videos if you're using one of the plugins, man. You can do a tremendous amount. I encourage you. My dad's encouraged it as well. You know, take some of the courses. Amazon has some, some on augmented reality. Um, you want to learn this stuff because it's going to dominate the world, man. Just start playing with it. That's the best. Just start playing with it, right? So I'm just playing with it last night. And I'm laying in bed. I'm on my phone, okay? Now, I pay $20 a month for ChatGPT4, okay, through OpenAI. And that gives you a few more options than a normal one. But check this out. So, you know, you just sit there. You play and say, ah, I say, make me a picture of my son, O'Brien the fourth. Let's have him playing in the Olympic Games. I want him playing the Russians. I want him winning the uh, win the Olympics, score the final goal, have him celebrating. Let me see his name on the back of his shirt so we know it's him. And let me see what you create as a picture. Look what it does. Look at this. If you're watching Tiger TV, if you're in the den, check it out. It's just so cool where technology is going to go, man. Now, there's a few intricacies in this photo that are amusing, okay? Um, first of all, check out the, the, the people and the fans. Right? And it's, 
one of my buddies was joking because I was sharing with him last night. He's saying, did, did you also ask him for like a, a bunch of Afghani villagers to fill the fans? I don't know what's going on in the fans, folks. Um, but how cool is that? I don't know what's going on. It seems like the goalie is like in the middle of the ice out there, right? I don't know what's going on there. Seems like they put Tommy in the in the goalie crease that's over here somehow. The goalie net's out in the middle of the ice right there, right? Uh, it doesn't do well with words and letters and spelling yet, okay? Um, but you see the American place. So it's pretty cool, right? Pretty amazing, really, okay? So then you go there, and I so I say, okay, I say, have him checking Putin. On the Russian team, right? I said, I want him to check Putin. I want him to lay out Putin with a big hit. Well, what they say is you can't put real names in there, okay? Probably a good check. But instantly I say, well, that's not going to that's not gonna maintain, man. Somebody's going to create something. I just want a picture of a fun picture of, of, you know, my son winning the Olympics, checking Putin on the way to scoring that goal. Well, you can't create names, okay? So he couldn't put, it's funny, they could create O'Brien the fourth, but they couldn't have him checking Putin. So I say, okay, just have him check some Russian in part of the game. I, I want to see Tommy O'Brien the fourth checking a Russian when he's playing. Check out this visual, man. I said, AI don't mess around, man, when it comes to playing hockey. Look at that picture. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, keep the skates down, Tommy. That's not legal, man. You'll get in trouble. That's a big problem. That's AI for you, folks. Isn't that hysterical, man? So they create that, okay? Now, the kicker is, is what you can also do, okay, is that you can upload a picture of yourself and say, well, use this picture of me to create a picture of, of likeness of me or something like that, right? So I, I upload a picture of me and I say, create a picture of Tommy when he's the president of America and put him in the White House, put him here. And then you know what else I told him? I said, put him in some cool high top sneakers that are red and bold and green and have some red shoes because we're not going to get let Trump get a monopoly on those shoes, man. Can't happen, right? So look, look at what he does for the third one. Let me find it. Check this out. Look at that. There's Tommy. He's in the Oval Office. He's sporting his own pair of fine kicks. Uh, and in 20 years, maybe he'll be hawking those. Um, no, he won't be hawking those, folks. Isn't that amazing, though? Um, so that one is predicated off my facial picture as well. I'll take that, man. Look at that gentleman. Hopefully that's Tommy the Fourth. Why not? Um, isn't that amazing? And they and and just by description of the high tops, check out the high tops, right? I didn't say the Trump shoes or anything like that. Uh, I imagine that Trump was sitting there playing with AI for those shoes, man, maybe, because look at what they did. I said, create me some high top shoes, give them gold, red, white, and blue, and give me some red soles on those shoes, man. Um, and they throw them on that, in that picture. So, you know, it's pretty remarkable, man. Play with it. But pretty cool, right? I, I thought that was pretty cool, man. And videos, videos are right there, too. Um, what actually made me go down that rabbit hole last night is I saw a pretty cool video. I said, how long is it going to be until you see these videos? And instantly your brain goes, ah, that's a fake video, man. That's made by some 13-year-old using an app in his bedroom that can create any video in the world. We're probably only a few years away from that 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 being the case, man, when you think about it. Pictures are not that far off from being, being fake, and videos are probably not that far off. We know they're not. Um, you just got to have the technology, but the technology is going to become rapidly available in the next few years, just like it always does with technology when it comes about. But check out, check out, check that out when you get some time, folks. You're sitting on the couch, you're playing with your phone, man. Um, that was the Wally image generator, I think, which is one of the plugins that now is accessible on ChatGPT, at least on ChatGPT4. Nonetheless, right? Yeah, Tommy scoring that Olympic goal. Why not? Microsoft down seven tenths percent right now, as we got a little bit of a rollover, man. Nvidia, they bounce off that 682, but you're still off 4.5 percent coming into their numbers. It's like people taking their cash and running a bit if they've been in that run. And heck, man, if you've been in that run, right? Boy, optimism at all-time highs for NVIDIA, to put it lightly. <laughs> you know, you don't have to be in NVIDIA for long, man, to be up gangbusters when you look at it. I mean, just what, a year ago? A year ago, this thing was at 215, and you just opened today above 700, let alone the 90-day run that you're on, which is from about 400, no, excuse me, 500 up to 690. wild yeah and that was a bummer deal i saw that one dan it happened in real life i know right all right we jump around see what else we've got going on see how walmart's digesting those numbers up about nine bucks all right let's see what else we got going on in this market yeah this one's interesting man the saudis they got a lot going on right and they're going to the market for even more saudi public investment fund cash and treasury assets look at this man 
they they there's a reason why this they're they're selling shares um treasury assets and cash combined for almost 200 billion dollars in 2020 where do they sit right now what are they at total 37 billion absolutely remarkable man the sovereign wealth fund Last month, its cash levels as of September had fallen by roughly three quarters to about 15 billion. That is nothing for what they're doing, man. Um, the lowest since December 2020, when the fund began reporting the data to keep the spending taps open, the kingdom has turned to tool that it shunned in recent decades, borrowing. Yeah, it also plans another gargantuan sale of stock in the country's crown jewel, Saudi Aramco. The supersized spending and borrowing underscore Mohammed bin Salman's expansive ambition for the country and show how they could face fiscal strains in a world of elevated interest rates. That's the crazy part to look at in this article, man. Um, the Saudis, are they going to be strained? Seems like that's not the case right now, but we will see. One more segment, folks. Don't go away. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We have the S&Ps down by about 29 points right now. A little bit of a sell-off. We catch a little bit of a bounce just off of that 449. Let me get that low. 49.86. Yes, 49.86 in the S&Ps. We're trading at 49.91. You're down by 28 points or about half a percent in the red. NASDAQ 100, you're off by more than a percent right now. The Dow 
catches a little bit of a bit as we got divergence going on right now. Keeping our eye on some of these high flyers, man. <sighs> Nvidia off by 5.2 percent to kick things off, man. And yeah, I think it's just selling, folks. It's selling ahead of their numbers. And as I mentioned, you got an $82 move priced in for their numbers on Friday. And just like that, you give up 40 bucks, man, for NVIDIA shares at 689 You check out some of the other companies that were flying there. Amazon shares off by 1.3 so far this morning. We check back to Walmart on their numbers, 179.60 so far. Back to that story about Saudi Arabia, man. The numbers are just video game style numbers is what they say. Uh, the the 2030 plan, which is a big plan that they're about halfway through, um, or in 2024, right, calls for the wealth fund, known as the public investment fund, to manage $2 trillion in assets, up from the $718 billion as of September. The public investment fund has said it expects to receive more funding from the government. They're going to need more money, man, which is remarkable. <coughs> Excuse me. At the same time, that spending has ramped up. Oil revenue has leveled off. Oil prices would need to be above 86 barrel in 2023 and $80 a barrel this year to balance the government's budget. Yeah. So they, they have an unbalanced budget right now, which is remarkable when you think about the money that they're getting. Um, Saudi Arabia is expected to run a budget deficit of $21 billion, or about 2% of the country's GDP. And it's going to run a small deficit through 2026. Wouldn't it be wild if we got higher interest rates and it crushed Saudi Arabia? <laughs> it would crush us too, which is the problem right now. All right, folks, that was a quick hour, man. We got a lot going on. Stay tuned. We got our man Basil Chapman. He is coming up next, folks. I see him there. He's getting ready in the den. Uh, have a great Tuesday. Have a safe Tuesday, folks. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow morning. Stay tuned for Basil. Have a great day, everybody.